Alright, uh, I didn't get a video of the first O2 sensor that I pulled off on the driver's side, but here is the passenger side. I'm going to get this one yanked off. And what's so troubling about this one is that it truly is easier to get to if you take off the exhaust manifold. Because uh, if you don't, it's sitting right here. And then getting a wrench on that damn thing is almost impossible. And I think that is a 22 millimeter. I don't. Okay, good. Since I've broken it free, let's go ahead and just crawl up under there and get the get the uh, plug. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm releasing the red tab from the oxygen sensor <clears throat> connection plug. Uh, this part, the actual plug for the bank 2 sensor 1, takes the majority of your time. I spent a good 20-25 minutes uh, undoing this plug. And as uh, you can see, it definitely takes a long reach tool. Uh, lucky for me, I, <clears throat> I had a uh, flathead screwdriver that I could use. And then once I got it released, it was just a matter of me positioning myself uh, in the right spot uh, to get my hands on it and uh, disconnect the plug. There are a couple of places uh, where you can buy certain tools I can reach up in there and help to uh, dislodge plugs like this, but for me it was just using my two hands, and uh, you'll, you'll see that throughout the video as we watch me fight this thing. It, it was just a bear. The actual unscrewing and screwing in the new O2 sensor literally took five minutes. It was nothing. This was the biggest part. I, I can't imagine why the designers of the Dakota did this. This is just absolutely ridiculous. And the pigtail that comes off of the harness uh, for the female plug is literally about three inches long, maybe four if you stretched it. So it doesn't really reach down that far. Even after I get it unplugged, I, I fought it a little bit to plug the new one back in and make sure it's seated properly. My biggest thing was I was so worried about plugging the new one in and having a pin off or not having a proper connection that it was just going to throw codes all day long. But lucky for me, I was, I was able to get my uh, fingers around it and uh, snap it into place. Just trying to wiggle that connection off. Uh, the video shot isn't too good because of the uh, awkward position that I was in, but here shortly uh, I was able to finally disconnect it and pull down the uh, male connection and then grab the uh, female connection. Of, uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, switch that. Uh, the connection of the new O2 sensor and plug it in. It took some fighting uh, and <laughs> more than one or two cuss words, but uh, 
that's the gist of it. Just be prepared on this uh, bank two sensor one uh, to go in there with some patience and uh, take your time and just get it done. The, the, the first thing you don't want to do is rip the uh, wires out of either one of the harnesses. So you know, just be patient. <coughs> Excuse me. Be patient. Take your time do it right so you don't have to get up under here and do it again or uh, worse yet the power wires but in this shot you see the actual uh, female connection of the old no I'm sorry uh, that is the current female connection coming out uh, off the top of the transmission housing which is just absolutely blows my mind of why they designed it like that. But once I got that done, I was able to uh, take the metal connection out of the new auto sensor and slip it in. Okay, to install the new oxygen sensor, luckily um, the 22 millimeter O2 sensor adapter that I have just barely fits back there, as you can see. Um, and I lucked out because since I broke it free, uh, of course after spraying it down with the uh, PB Blaster, I was able to break it free with my open end box wrench and that gave me enough break that I could actually start to unscrew it with uh, this, gave me enough leverage. And now, And have this bad boy on the way out. Okay. I don't know how well you can see the color on that, but there's definitely shades of white, not the gray that you want to see on O2 sensors. This tells me that at one point, or maybe even now, it's burning water antifreeze quite possibly had gasket leak and some of the other colors are indicative of uh, cheap gas um, probably fuel additives but the chalk white concerns me okay well, I had to put the new one in, you know, just chunk this one in the trash. Put the new one in, you know, wherever you buy it from. Bosch just happens to be sold from uh, AutoZone. Just take it out. And Bosch is kind enough to put some anti seize on there for us. So, yay! Just gonna take this thing. Start screwing it in. Just make sure your cable doesn't get all cattywampus on you. Let it spin as freely as possible so that uh, the wires don't get pinched or cramped. Okay, once you got it hand tight, I usually just take a open end box wrench, try to get it on there. This may not work as beautifully as I want because of this flange, but I may be able to get enough bite on it. 
and I can snug it down. You don't want to kill it. You just want to get it snug.